So this is our template where we have the setting sheet where we begin with. We basically would enter the project start and end date and then we would have we have the option to do planning at the monthly or weekly levels. And then I'm going to keep the planning unit to be hours at this point. And the cost entry, we, when we enter the actual cost, how are we going to enter? So that is what this means. And the currency, we have a set of um, predefined currency options and you can also choose other and then you can do your own uh, currency formatting. So now this is basically what the settings is about. It's very straightforward and simple. Now we go to the plan sheet where we enter each task in your project and you can have any number of tasks. You can just keep adding and for each of the, the tasks you can actually set the cost per hour and then you will enter the number of hours that each task will be performed in each period. And since we did a monthly, you know, this is the each month, how much, uh, how many hours will of work will be done. So that's what I've entered here for each task. And if I want to add another task, I can just go and type in here and then enter the values here. So this is our task uh, plan. Now, as I showed here, we could do planning unit hours or cost. So when you do cost, the template expects you to directly enter the cost value. When you enter hours, that means you will enter the number of hours here and the template will calculate the cost per hour multiplied by the hours. So it gives you the flexibility if you want to do it based on number of hours or you know the total cost and you want to directly type in, you can do either. Okay, now then we go to the actuals. The actual, you just begin by typing in a percentage of the work that has already been performed in each period for each task. So this means that 15% of task one was done in the first period. In the second period, 5% of the work was done. Similarly, for each task we will enter and this total will automatically calculate for you so that you can keep track of whether you're meeting 100% of the work. So this is the actual task performed as a percentage of the planned, planned hours. So this actually would be six months of uh, and, and data that we have entered. And as you remember, our planned project was for 10 months, but the actually we have completed six months of actual work. Now actual cost, and there are a couple of ways to enter the actual cost. One thing is that you could, um, in this option of cost change, I'm actually entering what is the incremental cost that I have incurred on top of the planned cost. If you don't want to do this, if you want to just type in the actual cost in whole, you will choose the actual cost option. I prefer the cost change option in scenarios where for most of the work, you know, most of the work, you're not, you didn't actually spend anything extra or you didn't spend anything less, you spent as per plan. Then you don't have to type anything. You only have to type in wherever there is a change in the cost. So it saves you time in data entry because you have to enter fewer cells. But if you want to just, you know, enter the total cost, you can definitely do that by setting it to, to actual cost. So that is all you do. The green colored cells are all do all have formula, so they will auto calculate. You will only have to enter the values here, and similarly, you only have to enter the values here. Now, now that's the data entry piece. Now let's go and see what the result of our calculations are. So this is all fully automated for you. The snapshot is something that you can choose um, whether you want to see the snapshot at the you know at the end of any month. In this case, we're dealing with months. So I can see what was my performance uh, by the end of the second period, February. We were ahead of schedule, we were under the planned cost, and then we go to March, and then we're still doing okay, and then we're doing April. So you can easily track these by each month that we have gone through, and all these calculations will update. And the start and end date of the project, planned value, earned value, actual cost, budgeted completion, the variances, and it will give you whether you are ahead or behind schedule and all that. And um, you can see the indices, uh, all these three indices. And also the forecast section will give you the option to choose the three forecast methods that we talked about earlier in the video. And you can choose any one and then the calculations will update. And finally, we have a couple of charts here, which will 
which will show the planned value with respect to the earned value and the actual cost. So you can you know, visually see how your project is performing. And then also the two indices, CPI and SPI, the trend so that you can see how these indices have uh, changed over the course of the project so far. So that's all this uh, sheet is about. You can print it or export to PDF as well. And uh, finally, the term sheet lists all the different terms that we talked about and what the definition is and what um, how uh, it is defined or what's the formula. So you can get all this here. And um, this template is available from Inzara. You know, you can download it for free. And um, please email me if there are any questions um, or any suggestions to improve the template. Um, and also, if you have any feedback, please leave them in the comments uh, in the video or on the blog post. There is a link to the page where this template will be available for download. And um, the EVM sheet is actually password protected to avoid any editing of the formulas accidentally. But um, the password is in Zara, so you can you know definitely go and uh, edit or make changes if you would like to. The template is completely open for um, your use. So if there are any further questions, please leave them in the comments. And uh, thank you very much for watching the video.